Hello and welcome back everybody to our Balthazar Gelt Banner Rules Legendary Campaign. We're on part two. We just managed to claim back Fester Spike from the filthy rodents that I live there. We've also got rid of all of the green skins that we started at war with, Black Venom, and secured the Black Mountains, but not this little bit in the valley. But you know what? I feel a bit of a war is coming up with the dwarfs. Karaknorn in particular, I've got a bit of a problem with. So, that's probably going to be the next port of call. Uh, ignore Whistleland raiding our lands, that's just a little bit of a miscommunication. They've not realised that I've uh, took the settlement out of Skaven hands. There you go, they're moving away now. They're lovely people really, they're just a bit slow sometimes. And God help you if you try and do diplomacy with them. Now we spent a lot of our prestige earlier on trying to, oh my god, we'll do this actually, yeah, that's very handy, carry out a successful assassination attempt, assassination, against one character belonging to the following race. What is going on? Who's that? Oh, fuck me. Well, there's the answer, that is Noska. I'm going to have to spend 2,000, you know what, who cares, look at my income, wow, why am I minus 35 right now, what's that all about? Don't know, but this is a decisive victory, holy shit talk about an easy battle, because they're actually attacking um, the main force, Averheim, that's the one. So there you go, that's a, that's a victory, and that's a grand of my money back. Your prestige grows. Oh, would you look at that? Level 9. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. Your developing power is noted by wow. even the most lots of developments. So we use a lot of prestige to try and improve the favour with Avalan. Um, they still don't want to trade with me, which Disagree is with that. honestly quite ridiculous, but it's still rising. We only need them to get to like 60 favour, and I'll get plus one for high relations, and then I'll be able to confederate them. But the problem is, that's actually not going to happen, because I'm only on zero Imperial Authority, because we've not had anything to raise it in terms of prestige events, which really sucks. We had one very early on, but it was literally too early. Right. Hang on. What's all this? Diplomatic relations with men and public order up one. That sounds amazing, and I've got the money for it. Let's do it. Public order is definitely a problem for us. We're going to get a revolt eventually in the Black Mountains. We're going to get a revolt in Bloody Solon soon enough. But you know what? I'm not too bothered because these provinces are relatively safe. I'll hire like a secondary general and get some archers and we should be fine. Now, we're actually negative on income for some reason. Why are we negative? I don't understand that. Uh, I don't get that. I don't really understand why I'm a negative. But that shouldn't last for long because we're going to actually get rid of this now. And we're going to recruit some what? more crossbowmen. Uh, but we're playing by banner rule, so we can only get a maximum of five. So we have to keep either one archer or get something else. Like another free company militia, which is probably the better choice. Let's get rid of all these archers. So. That just went up way too much. I don't understand what's going on here. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Five crossbowmen. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll do that. We'll keep replenishing. And what we're actually going to do, we're going to go to war with Karaknorn. We do want to eventually take out Skarsnik at Karakazgaraz. But to get there, I mean, we're going to have to trespass. And Karaknorn are just in the way. I'm not going to take Karakazgaraz and have Festa Spike, but not Karaknorn. Just sort the dwarfs. Get rid of them. It's a little bit annoying because we don't have much armor piercing. We've got a little bit with halberds and great swords, but that's about it. I'm going to be reliant on those of Searing Doom, but obviously dwarves are actually resistant to magic, so it's not ideal. Um, can we get any heroes? We've got a couple of things that require heroes here, so this is mm, not great. Not great. We can't really progress them. Uh, in terms of chapter objectives, then, what have we got? Three decisive victories, one quest chain, um, maintain control of the Border Prince lands. Well, they really want me to just charge the Greenskins, don't they? That is strange. I mean, I don't know, I guess. I, I get um, green super climber for mountains, but I don't want to charge the uh, Border Princes. Why would I want to fight them? 
technologies and defensive on military alliance. Can I actually get a nap with you guys? No. Who are you? What with the bloody hands? Well, you know what? That is a load of BS. Ooh, Clan Angrand. Yeah, they're growing. Oh, okay. They're still red. Diplomacy is so difficult on very hard campaign difficulty. Alright, fine. Like, I'm not even at war with anyone, so, you know, that should give me a little bit of diplomatic favour. Should make me appear a bit stronger. Apparently not, though. So, we're obviously going to have to build some income buildings. Oh, God, I've landed now at war with Von Karstein. Tell the Beckland have declared war on Kieslev. What? Why? Why would you do that? Are you kidding me? Ugh. I don't want more public order reductions. We've already got public order problems. But I'm not fighting men, so that's fine. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Um... Man, I really... I can't take Avaland, though. That's the thing. Avaland will retain control of the moot. Yeah, whatever. So next turn, we'll get the thing for Avaland, and I'll just have to reject it to get the Imperial Authority, because I can't confederate it yet. I can't go down below minus two and risk everyone losing fealty every turn. That'll just be horrendous. And we've got other things to do in the meantime, so that's fine. Um, we're going to increase Migdal Vongelbarag so that we can get a growth building here. And we're going to get the... Uh, oh, we're, we're making some money now. So actually, on that basis, we're going to get the growth building instead. And I'm actually going to... Mm, do I want to scrap this? I mean, this will be useful in the future. And it probably did cost quite a lot to uh, upgrade that. How much would that cost if I wanted to get that myself? Oh. Well, probably 3,000 or so. Can I have a look over here? No, everything's already constructed. You know what? By the comet. Sod it. We'll keep that. Uh, there's no trade resources here. Eventually this will be swapped out, of course. I don't want the 63 income. Just turn that off and get the uh, public order up. We do need to fully replenish, though, which is going to take a long time, time, isn't it? Jeez. No. This is a really slow campaign. Wow. So we got this, which improves our public order and our diplomatic relations. So that's nice. Any of these other ones really worth it? I don't think so right now. I just don't have enough. I, I need the money, to be honest with you. Um, do I want to improve state troops? Wow, that is quite a good boost. 5 leadership, 15 armor, 4 melee defense. That's not bad, but I think this is more important right now. Uh, to get the 10% extra, extra damage, 15% reload speed, and 10% more ammo. Yeah. Oh, why is it separate for Pistolias and Outriders? That's weird. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. We need to buff our troops quite dramatically. Uh, in fact, I'd rather get damage than fire rip to start with. Like, against dwarfs, we can kite them forever, but you just run out of ammo against all their armor. So, that that's something. Um, we are going to keep that. Suppose we could speed things up by literally merging these troops and just recruiting new ones, but no, we need the uh, we need the great swords anyway to replenish. So whatever. My Let's see if they're gonna get to the nap. Yes. Or the uh, trade agreement. Absolutely not. These guys, the Ostermark, are looking pretty pretty offer. shitty. Wow, they've actually took back the land from the Bone Rattlers. I'm impressed. So they will accept the nap. So I'm not surprised though. They've got no army. Of course they will. No one else really seems to be bothered, which is, is quite frustrating. No, no. You know, I want these guys to, to like me so I can eventually the, uh, confederate them. Okay, okay, whatever. whatever. What? what about you, Rifle? Greetings from Sigma. Not in my name. Yeah, I'm not interested. I can't believe he's at war with Parabon. That's be. crazy. And I can't believe these guys Only are at war with Kieslev. Why? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Humans should not be fighting humans. Not when there's vampires and angry tree spirits and green skins going around. The Crooked Moon just got destroyed. What? That is bizarre. Did the Reichland do that? 
That's a problem if so, because I need that land. I guess eventually I'd confederate them, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll just take the growth right now. Okay, so we can't do the confederation because we're good, we're going to minus two. So yeah, that's fine. You can be independent for twenty more turns. So turn thirty-five. God, that's a long way off. We can do the other thing. Okay, so I'm guessing the Reichland destroyed it and they raised it to the ground. That's great, I guess. Um, it's one less threat to deal with. Come on, you must want to. my countrymen. Yes. Finally, jeez. As you say, that sir. took so long to get. What? Come then. Listen, then Only Sigma God. Oh, oh, they're at war with Karak well. Oh, that is amazing for me. That is amazing. Because I'm going to get more relationship for uh, beating up these guys for them then. Which is brilliant. Awesome. The Empire. Yep. Keep growing. Keep growing. And keep growing. We're not going to use the prestige yet because we need to keep over 1,000. But eventually I'll use it to get more relationship with Null. Hopefully Avaland can hold their own and not actually lose to the vampires. Who they're now at war with. I mean, we've got Stirland and Avaland at war with them. So they should be pretty safe, right? You'd hope so. I know it's only a matter of time. Eventually they will get overwhelmed. And that's why we just need to deal with Karaknon as, as fast as possible. So, uh, one more turn and we're pretty much fully replenished and we can start to move out. Though, we're probably going to move very slowly anyway because we've got to travel through mountains. So let's move out to here and go into encampment stance. Public order is a major problem all over the gaff right now. Um, yeah, not great. Oh, we can upgrade the fortress again. Let's do it. We've got the funds, so we might as well. I wonder if they'll give me a trade agreement. Yet. Friend and make no. not. Okay, that's fine. Relax, that's fine. Wow, Who Osland called? are second in the strength Gun ranking. Then. That is Only Sigma's odd. God. No. Oh, Clan Angrund, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, still not very happy with me. Okay. <laughs> it is Doesn't make any sense, but fine. I'd have to trespass through their lands to get down to Karak and Gazar. I do want to take it eventually. I do want it. I want that province full. I want the commandment. But for now, Karak Norn is the, the main focus. Stirland will control Essen. Oh, that's nice. The Stirland are actually fighting back against the Wargrove of Woe. Uh, return it to... Uh, actually, no, Stirland, yeah, you can keep it, because Ostermark usually just die anyway. I'm going to need to eventually confederate with Stirland, so that seems more wise. I am a green picture. Hmm. Yes, let's do this. So, oh, that's not ideal. Well, we really are going to have to advance extremely slowly, I go we? Where the winds are. so that we don't get attrition. Your army suffers in the miserable conditions they find themselves. Yeah, I can see that, mate. That's quite annoying. I am in ascent. Mm. Whatever. This is really slow. So there's going to be a rebellion in Fildorf in three turns. So next turn, we'll recruit a general to try and fend that off. We could do with getting a level 3 barrack somewhere so that we can finally recruit a captain, which is a form of hero, which will help us progress both of our current quest lines. Middenland is now at war with the Laurelon Forest. Not exactly ideal. And Karakahern 
Okay, that's great. Yeah, politicking. So we throw away a thousand of our prestige, but we get one imperial authority. So, these guys now have a military alliance with Clan Angrand. Honestly, that's quite horrendous. Um, what makes you think I guess maybe we won't attack Karakern. Yes. By Sigma's will, I'll ignore that. No. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll finally upgrade Karakern, and we shall also upgrade. Here, do we want to create Steingart? Get the walls. That probably is wise. Yeah, it's a uh, friend settlement for sure. Upgrade you. And keep pushing onwards. That will work. Very well, I'll move. Yes, that will do. Next turn, we should be able to besiege Karaknorn. Be very useful. Okay. Eventually, when we win the battle and get a bit more prestige, I would like to buff up our relation with Vissenland. Now tell Becklander at war with Sylvania. Hopefully, that makes them declare peace with Kislev. Otherwise, they're going to be in quite a lot of trouble, actually. Uh, we didn't build a, uh, a hero, a general, over there, but that's fine. The rebellion's only coming in now. Um, so we're getting damage on ranged units, which, yeah, is the correct choice. Uh, who do we want? Do we want an arch lector? I don't think so. Then again, an arch lector that can poison people would be quite cool. No, I think we want a noble. Construction time reduction and income boost to all nibble the units. Mm -hmm. We can get Eldra's guards. Not really fussed about that. So what's in Fyldorf to defend? Three melee units now. on each side. Yeah. Let's just get a lot of archers. That should be fine. I like the plus two recruit rank. That's pretty good. So, that technology. Wind of Shaman. And we are now out of the mountains, which is awesome. Out of the mountains and into hills. Pick up the pace. Right? Yeah. Brilliant. On march. Now For the they the have air. quite a, a force here, yes. don't they? Jeez. Can I help you? 12 Dwarven Warriors with great weapons. And 12 more. Excellent. But I think what we can do is we can engage them, shoot them to pieces, and then run. Come back with more ammo and fight them again. Oh no! The Reichland decided to settle that. That's annoying. It's not a big deal. When we confederate the Reichland later on, we'll, uh, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll get it back. So, whatever. They did us a favour by dealing with Skarsnik, to be honest. So I can't really complain about them. But we do need more prestige. So the battle against this rebel army is going to come in quite handy if it gives us more prestige. Which it should do. I don't know exactly how the prestige works. I think every battle one gives you prestige. I don't know if it's the same amount of prestige, no matter who you fight. No matter whether it's a decisive victory, a heroic victory, etc. It doesn't really matter. I know that by the end game you end up with so much prestige you don't know what to do with it. The rival states of Reichland and Avaland have been unable to reconcile their differences. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um. Wow. That's not good. Oh, man. What? Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense, Reichland. Are you out of your mind? 
if I had my main army here ready to attack Avalon, then I'd do this. But I don't. I can't afford to go to war with them. Oh my goodness. I will do nothing. I will do nothing. Damn, that sucks. That really sucks. Why would they do that? I mean, honestly, I swear the game just throws stupid curveballs at you because you're running very hard. Um, so they're filling up with more rebels. Honestly, am I concerned? Nah. I don't care. They'll be sorted out. They gotta besiege me. There's no way they're gonna win that. Right. Uh, now this is a bit more tricky. Now they're not mustering, so that's one thing. I, I definitely think we can we can take this on. Let's give it a go. Close to feet. I mean, I don't think we'll be able to beat them all here, but like I say, we can we can just attack them, weaken them with our ranged units, and then back off and come back with more ammo. We don't want to take a pitched melee scrap against hundreds. Well. Honestly, at this point, thousands and thousands of great axe wielding dwarfs. We don't have the armor piercing for that. Maybe if we had a shitload of great swords and hand gunners. We don't, though. It's too early in the game for that. So I think what we'll do, we will deploy in sort of this corner of the map. And we'll, uh, we'll flee when they get sufficiently close got literally no range units in that army so this is just like free pickings for my outriders they don't even have shields because they're using two-handed two-handed great axes so that's honestly perfect for me we just want to do as much damage as possible And we'll put up very, very token resistance in melee, if any. We don't really want to be fighting them in melee. Crossbows ready, General. Yes, my lord. Yes, General. Rolling with in the name of the Twin Tails Comet. Free company. At speed. No lingering. Let's see if they actually dodge that or they're just going to walk into it. They just walked into it. What a bunch of dipshits. the rust ability to uh, reduce that armor and then my crossbow should do significantly more damage. Now we have to be careful of these, they actually have ranged units coming in over here and they will melt my outriders very quickly. Oh my 
Oh my god, Mars, what are you doing? In my own fucking troops. Down here, you back off. We obey. Can you shoot the Thunderers. We are Sigma's if we can isolate the range units right now, I would love that. That'd be amazing. Go get them. Finish her. Yeah, they're shot. No They've had enough of that shit. Firing at those thunderers. Rattle team, we're ready for the twin-tailed comet. Yes, sir. For the war. Oh, come on, how are they still charging after that? Yes, my lord. War. Come on, dwarfs. You know what's better for you? Run. It's the thing with dwarfs. They really don't like fleeing. Way too courageous for their own good. Right. Thunderers. One v one. They will definitely beat us with magic and free crossbowmen shooting at them. We should win that fight. Okay, the melee blob is getting a bit too close. We need to get the fuck out of there. Yes, sir. Moving now. Oh, really nice hits from the mortar on their thunderers there. Retreat. Everyone get out. We've done it. Ooh, lots of damage from those guns on Gel. See if we can get a nice Searing Doom over there. Searing Doom, is that what it's called? Here it is. Such a bigger radius with the overcast. Wow. You know what? That was alright damage. 
That was okay. Not even that bad. Pew, 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 pew. Now shoot them. Cast Plague of Rust. Reduce the armor. I mean, honestly, Gel is very helpful when you're fighting against dwarfs. Lord of Metal is handy. Cool. That should be fine. We shouldn't take many losses there. 89 losses, but we practically wiped out that initial army of Great Axe Dwarfs. That gives us an opportunity to resupply our Winds of Magic and all of our ammo. Crucially, the garrison lost 57 Thunderers, which are very important to fight us, obviously. Big scary ranged units. So yeah, they're down to 28 Thunderers in that unit. And yeah, look at the injuries that they received. Do not waste my they did push me back into the mountains, Maybe. which is annoying because now I'm taking attrition, but... I'm not too bothered about that. Ugh, they are getting replenishment, but I think overall we'd call that a success. I wonder if they'll attack me. This force. We shall have to wait and see, I suppose. It's about as good as we're going to be able to do against those dwarfs right now. Because we really do lack armor piercing. They're going to do it? Yeah, no they're not. Shit. I was really hoping they would. I was definitely hoping they would. Oh my god. I barely have the money to sustain this. Um... I don't think... That this is going to help. I can't afford that. Sorry, Midland. I just can't afford it, mate. Then I've got to deal calls. with some Absolutely not. annoying rebels down here. The Empire. We really need to win this battle, don't we? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The problem is when you retreat from the battle like that and get the close defeat, it... Man, can I win this? Like, outright, can I win this? No, maybe I can, you know. I'm not sure. Let's try. Oh man, it's this garrison. It's really scary. A fane. Quarrelers, Thunderers, and Longbeards. That's not easy to beat. We would be in a, a weak region when it comes to the Winds of Magic, wouldn't we? Mm. Well, we got to give it a go. We're not going to back off now after inflicting those losses. That put us in a horrible position. We need to give it a good go. A little bit easier for them this time in terms of getting over and attacking me. Granted, they're going to be far, quite far away from the mortar, which I suppose is helpful for me. Um, right. 
There's a bit of high ground here, but I don't think I want to advance and take that high ground, so I think actually I'm going to deploy like most of my men back there. Put the swordsmen up in the front. The swordsmen are not very good against dwarfs. I mean, swords just bounce off their armor, to be honest with you, but... It's what we've got. It's what we've got. It's what we're going to have to use. Outriders. Outriders, on the other hand, are fantastic against dwarfs. We serve the Emperor. Free company. Split up our free company. Armed and ready. Spearmen. Soldiers of the Emperor. The Helden Hammer. Okay. Ulrich's wrath on them. Glory to the Empire. We serve the Emperor. Now. Yes, sir. Quick march. Go. Formation. March. Yes. Wow, why are you moving up so close? Why are you getting so close? Because the hill. Oh no, getting way too close. Commentary here, guys, because this is a bit challenging, not gonna lie. Take 
Take the ground! Find the enemy! But the twin tail's coming! Yes, my lord! No lingering! Understood! Go! For Hound and Hammer! For the Emperor! Take position! Charge! Quickly! Formation! March! Oops. I'm getting way too close. Strike them down! Take the ground! I think with Gelt, we should be able to do this. We really need to reform our lines. Zack! Oh, that's not the general. Damn it. Incorrectly thought it might be. Yes, my lord. Outriders. Whoa! No! Here come long beards. Oh god, these crossbowmen are getting wrecked. Right, that's a good use for swordsmen to actually go and uh, deal with their quarrelers. And crossbowmen should definitely not be in melee. <laughs> Not ideal. Balthazar, you need to you need to move over, mate. You need to start sharing them. Right, tie up the Thunderers. Take the ground. Avoiding combat. Cross moment. Cavalry ready. This is rough. Ready for war. Help the Now. What do you bid? We are Sigma. If my great souls are losing for fuck's sake. Where's that free company? Free company! Go down there. Okay. Yes, sir! Sigma calls! For the twin tailed comet! Have battle! Free company! Feel my fire! My Ulrich's wrath! the outriders to flank around and start dealing with all these brown units so I don't have to waste ammunition on them. Why are you not in melee? Fuck's sake. Swordsman. Need to be in melee. No lingering. My clan calls. Fight now, then. Oh, the great sword's gonna get beaten. And I'm out of magic now. Sigma preserve us. 
Oh shit, they got onto the mortars. Mortars need to flee. These dwarf lords, man. They just don't die. Oh. They've come back now. Will you get rid of these miners? As if they're not shattered yet. Come on. Shatter the brutes. Then we can charge the Thunderers and they'll rout. Thank you. Problem is this leadership core that's way too durable still. Oh, they actually won down there, that's great. Rallied. Please hurry up. Bloody dwarfs. They just never break. Look at this, man. Crazy. Sorsman and Halberdiers in combat with her. Uh, uh, that's not, not going to go very well for me. Yes, my lord. You know what? I don't know if I want to fight that either. Don't think I do. Oh, they shot. Nice. It's random. What a bloody battle, eh? If I reunite these melee troops, we should be able to force off one more squad of Great Warriors. I'm wanting to take out a few more men in that. The lords are just immortal in their suits of armor. I think we can speed this up now.
So that should be completely destroyed. Yeah, you got me. In the end, you got me. But, oh my god, I took 977 losses. Jesus Christ. A lot of the Mark crew ended up dying in the end. That's not good. Not good. Oh, I lost both the halberdiers. Oh, bollocks. Well, that sucks. Push back further into the mountains. Well, we did get ca casualty replenishment rate boost from the mercenary. That's nice. I am ready. Are you? Um, yeah. So that's uh. No. It's bad. I will not shame my clan. <laughs> oh man, they are so weakened, but. The Not Empire. that weekend, and big on. Uh, I am the supreme patriarch. I don't know if that's going to be enough to beat them, you know. Next turn, I don't think it is. Goddamn yes, stupid dwarfs! Ready. Yes, more range damage. That is sorely needed. Range damage yes. and ammunition. Thank you. If I could attack them now, I'd do it. But I can't. I can't. And that doesn't make me happy. Um, yeah. Who would have guessed that Karak Norm would be an absolute nightmare to defeat? I could have guessed it. I just don't have enough AP. Not enough AP. And what else have declared one on me? Okay. Well, fortunately they don't really do anything usually. They besiege me. Interesting. Um Yeah, fuck it. We'll uh we'll increase taxes even further. <laughs> God is already a mess. Who cares? Why have I got faction plus eight? What's that for? Oh, is that just because it's close to the the limit? Raise Sigma. What does the Emperor bid? Steingart. I wonder if he'll take so. this fight. He will. Peric victory. Really? Why is this a Pyrrhic victory? But you know what, I'll take it because I don't even want these troops. They're getting uh, de-established anyway afterwards. So, whatever. Wow! Seems slightly excessive. God's sake. At least he got Mr. Elgar a uh, little level. Sure. Oh, Garth Lensburg. Not likely. Now, to the provinces. And that made me a little bit of money, but what am I going to use with that little bit of money? Um, I'm not sure. This is tough. I mean, we need to replenish here. There's, there's no doubt yes, about that. that will do. 
this has to happen. Uh, local replenishment, uh, local recruitment wise, what are we going to get? So, do we get crossbows or do we get more free company militia? Oh, we don't have a choice. We, we can't get crossbows. Banner rules, right? Yeah. Free company militia. There we go. You summon me. It is time. Yes. Hmm. What? I can see where Legend was getting the idea that this campaign is pretty tough. For him. Because. <laughs> The Von Karsteins now own Averheim, which is not really what the initial plan was, but uh, yep, that's uh, interesting. So when they let me confederate with them at turn 35, they're going to be giving me one settlement, Grenstadt. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, that's cool. terrible. That's absolutely awful. At least we've got more positive income now. Yeah, we'll get some spin with shields as well. Sure. Why not? Why not get spin with shields? This, my friend, is silly. But look, we take out Karak Norn, and there is no more threats this side of the mountains other than the vampires so we can then focus fully on the vampires now if the auto resolve says Ready. that it's not going to win this battle I'm going to be fuming okay it does good that's fine yes my lord so we got another cheeky level up for him, which is nice. Um, okay. And what are we going to do next? We are going to... I guess we're going to upgrade the income building here. Am I, am I being quite bold in not building the garrison building over there? I don't know. Maybe. But clearly I need income. Now you guys can go away. That gives us a significant increase to our income. And all of a sudden my troops are looking so much better. In fact, we'll, we'll do another turn of replenishment. And see if we can take Karaknon next turn. Hopefully all these delays don't result in the vampires conquering the entire empire. <laughs> Which could be quite probable, to be honest. We shall see. Keppelberg. So Ostland have took Keppelberg from Telebeckland because Telebeckland are kind of overextended. Give it back to Telebeckland. Yeah, we're going to get the garrison here. I mean, once they're finished with these guys, they could easily come to Steingart. We need the garrison. I can't actually reach them. Oh my god. I have no so, time for this. they are weaker than they were before, but now they're getting long beards. What? Think so. We're barely making any you progress. This me. is horrendous. I wonder if they attack me. Maybe they will. Man. 
I can actually get a confederation now. I've got enough imperial authority, but I don't think I want to waste it on a on Avalon just taking Grenstar. That seems pretty stupid. We'll not do that. I need to finish off Karak Norn, and then I need to come over and push the Von Karstens out of Averheim and give it back to Avalon. And then just push onwards to the moot. Give it back to Stirland. Maybe not, because I won't have military access. What's the point? Don't know. Attack me, come on. Do it. I know you want to. Ah, oh, you bastard. You bastard. They're a nightmare, aren't they? Kaderberg. Oh, give it back to, to Midland, for God's sake. That is a hero serving a foreign power, my lord. Mm. Consider recruiting such an operative into your service. Thanks for that, mate. One being Cheers. with the right skills I mean, can solve problems. With yeah, no amount of they have less than what I started with, but they've got those long beards now, that. which is not really very good. I will good. not disgrace my ancestors. I am honestly at a little bit a of a deadlock here, and I don't Smith. like it. Let us begin. I don't like it at all. What, we're going up loads of imperial authority, though. I guess it's because we're reclaiming empire settlements. So, we can upgrade Faldorf, uh, but we don't have the money, obviously. God, that's expensive. I think... Man, this is hard. Oh, we finally get the plus 10% damage thing over here. And they're not recruiting anything this turn. No, so, that's got to be good, plan. right? Right. So what we'll do, we'll move up slightly, go into well, encamp to get a little bit this. more replenishment, and then next turn when we fight Stop them, that. we get 10% extra damage on all these units, which is obviously going to help us quite a lot. Fine. We've got a lot of units that will benefit from that. And we need the damage because we just run out of ammo against these bloody dwarfs. Hopefully then, we can actually finish off these Karaknorn Dwarfs that are causing us such drama. Broken Nose have been defeated. Oh, actually, yeah, I want to have a look at Clan Anger and see if they like us anymore now. They probably won't. I'm fighting other Dwarfs. What am I talking about? There's no chance they will. What just happened? They used the Underway and left. Have they gone to attack Vissenland? I mean, that is amazing if so, because now I can win. So, what's this? A lesser nobleman with close associations to the House of Osland has been imprisoned by the Order of Wolfram Hertwig. He's accused of having a forbidden affair with Wolfram Hertwig's family members. Well, that's absolutely horrendous. Ostermark bays... I don't like Ostermark. Ostermark is shit. But I don't want them to rebel. <laughs> Go away, Ostermark. You suck. You suck, Ostermark. How much did this make me? 69 years, yeah, no point. Let's get that. Okay, and now we can get... Um, ooh, what do we want to get here? We'll get the re reload reduction time. Ammo's not that important in most battles, just when you fight so, dwarfs. And honestly, the intention is not to be fighting that many dwarfs. Hopefully these guys can take it. I mean, this is a fully upgraded garrison, and this is a main settlement, so... I am a supreme should be fine, patriot. honestly. You summon me. And we're just going to siege these guys out, I think. I don't think we can, we can win that in an open battle. So, yeah. No we will just besiege them. Just I have to assume eventually they will attack us. I right? shall be victorious. They have to, surely. I, have no time I mean, realistically, this. can I win that in a siege battle without cheesing, which is the whole point? I don't think I can. Um, nah. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah, nah. They need to attack me. Um, hopefully Vissenland can take out the rest of this shit. 
Thy Sigma's will. Trade agreement, please. Yeah, okay. This act, I am called Franz. Wow, he owns eight Emperor. areas? How? Of course. Carl, how do you have eight regions? One, two, three, four, Reichland. Um, Crooked Moon. The fort. He must own like two regions in uh, Britannia, I guess. That's wild. So. Sterling owns three regions. Okay, he randomly owns this bit. Essen. And he still lacks needling. Odd. Come then. Only but okay. Aha. Uh -huh. We're actually Approach getting naps friend. now. That's good. That um, 7,000 cost Only technology Sigma's must have paid some dividends. What? It is good to see fellow. I refuse. Yes. How about you, Nordland? How are you Only feeling Sigma's towards me? God, Ulrich, I will not That's obey. random. Britannia owns that settlement. I guess they're both warring with the Norse. Yeah. I stand strong behind the shield of Okay. Who call? I am ready to parley. Yes. Oh that's good. As you say. Oh brilliant, so. they've given me military access to border princes, that's great. Alright. Let's see what kind of play these wars make. Are they gonna push their advantage or not? I mean, I really wish we had Total Warhammer free siege mechanics here, where the the units in the garrison slowly take attrition every turn. So they, they you know, they won't be taking the crazy attrition that they finally take when you starve them in Total Warhammer 2, where they lose like a quarter of their health in a turn. But they'd be taking 10% each turn. They slowly, you know, they might be down to like 90, slowly trickling away. Oh God, what's going on? He's here. He's here with an army. Interesting choice. So he's choosing not to engage me in the open field. Um. Okay. Odd. This is hard to deal with. Okay, I, I feel like I don't have a choice here. I think I need to... Ugh. This lord has recently replaced. They'll be available in one turn. But I... I want him now, man. I want him now because shit's going to be hard otherwise. Mm. Fyodoric Sidow. I think I am going to have to pay for this. Now, you know what? Sod it. If they take Festa Spike, who cares? That's an easier settlement to get rid of than Karaknor. No so I'm not, I'm not too fussed if they take Festa Spike. It's not like I'm making any money from Festa Spike anyway. In fact, you know what? No, we'll, we'll leave it. We might actually keep it. I was considering whether I scrap that building. But we'll keep it. How they're doing it. Ah. All right. Man, so many long beards. But not as many units, though. Let's give it a go. So many long beards, man. Honestly, the long beards are a huge, huge problem. I don't know what I'm meant to do against them. Is it time to corner camp? I think with my melee infantry, yeah. And I need to remember that the swordsmen, the best use for them is to rush out and deal with the enemy 
archers. Well, they don't have archers, but crossbows and thunderers and all that kind of shit. I hate that this is a weak region for the winds of magic as well. Everything that could possibly happen to make this harder for me is happening. Which is just terrible. Just terrible. Ready to fire! Fortunately for me, these quarrelers do not have uh, shields. They've chosen to stock great weapons at their back instead. The absolute tits. Moving now. Oh, they're taking good damage. But so am I free company. Which is not ideal. Pew 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 pew. Man, they just don't do any damage. It's so frustrating. Quick march! Yes, sir! Crossbows ready, General! And the scoop! Fight for friends! They just don't break. Look at this. Come on, guys. Just break, for fuck's sake. Sigma! We are Sigma's heirs. Three companies for Helden Hammer! Sigma calls at speed! Quickly! For Helden Hammer! Our weapons are yours! Lord. Your orders 
him. The rear, come on. Move out with these. To battle, Sigma call. Ah! For Heldenhammer, Sigma. Yes, and ready for Heldenhammer. Haste, gold, magic. Get them, Sigma guides us. Crossbowmen. Oh my god, run! God, the friendly fire, fuck me. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. Fight for France! Strike them down! Take the ground! On way! Crossbowman! Take the ground! Three companies! All the range units getting compromised and pincered. Troops are just useless in melee. It is a nightmare. It's like I... Oh, I am stuck now running through an enfilade of fire. And my men are retreating, understandably so. Take the ground. To be honest. Sigma! Yeah, this is not got to plan. Moving faster. This did not go to plan. They'll never move again. Detachments move! Go! Well, we still cannot defeat Karak Norn. Oh my goodness. Damn it, I thought we had a good start there as well. But these dwarfs and their armor are just immortal. Let's get out of there, great swords. It's a futile battle. 
Oh, what the hell, Outriders? Why are you in melee? Don't do that. That's terrible. Get out, man. Come on, get my final bit of magic, please. Oh, I don't know why they're in melee sense. That's weird. Wow. You know, even the range units have got pretty battered this time around. It's really not ideal. I just can't believe how difficult this is. The poor melee infantry of the Empire are just utterly useless against the Dwarfs, certainly on hard battle difficulty. Look, at least we took out these Thunderers. It's got to count for something, right? But, yeah, Balthazar, you just need to get out of there, mate, to be honest with you. Just leave, mate. These bloody dwarfs not routing is just such a problem. Damn it! Well, at least we didn't get a close victory. We got a valiant one, but fuck me. Oh, these dwarves are a nightmare. Hopefully I don't get pushed into attrition range, at the very least. I'll be so happy once these dwarves are dealt with. I can't wait to fight vampires. Bring on the undead. So much easier than dealing with these dwarves. Look how elite my troops are getting though. Uh, we lost a unit. We lost two units, but I'm not concerned about the, uh, the unit over there that was lost. We did wipe out a few, but not many. Still got the Thunderers and the Quarrelers. It was the flank by the Thunderers and Quarrelers that really doomed me there. Oh, I am in attrition range. Fuck. Because that's the problem. In contrast, he gets. Um, replenishment. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Growth and recruitment cost? Yeah, fine. I mean, we've got to attack it. This is the only opportunity. It's going to be so difficult. We get to bring in these guys, the Eldred Spearmen, but... <laughs> I don't know how much they're going to help, realistically. Yeah. This is tough, tough, tough. We can spend 3,000 and get the City Watch there. At least that makes it defensive against him. Um, 
I am not confident though. Well, you gotta do it. I am a supreme patriot. Gotta do it. And they back it off. It is best to move. Do not waste I mean, my potential. Hmm. Stop some reinforcing. But they're still likely. healing. That's the problem. Stop that. Still healing. Stop that. You what? Yes. I shall be the. I'm going in. Decisive defeat. Mm. You know what the problem is? It's these fucking fiends. They're gonna take a million bullets to kill. Even if I kill the rest of the troops, they're just never gonna die. I've got practically no melee to hold them in place now either. It's a shame I can't put melee in skirmish stance. That could actually be quite effective against dwarfs. So what's actually here? Um, Corollas are great weapons, long beards, and dwarf warriors. So not a whole lot. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see what these guys do. Yeah, they have encourage. Well, that's good. Stops all those low model units from instantly routing, I guess. Crossbowmen! No lingering! Yes, sir! For held and Oops, I put him on one. Yes, my lord! Taking position! It's the Lord. I just I don't know how I'm gonna kill the Lord. The Lord is a huge, huge problem. Company. Yes, sir. Quickly. Yes, my lord. We are Sigmar's heirs. Quick march. Militia. Four scum splitter. Like, there's two quarrelers in that unit, and they're still fighting. Goddamn dwarf leadership, man. It's outrageous. It's totally out of control, dwarf leadership. We've got 11 more seconds of reduced armor for them. Come on, folks. Finish him. Why are you not shooting at him? Please just finish them. Thank you. Okay, well, he's actually dying, which is something. Now you can finish him off by just chasing him. Cool. 
Cruel. We need to split up Mo. You can see that straight away. We need to split up Mo. Standing by. Great swords. Take the ground. Bow before me. Ulrich's rock on them. Ready to fire. Outriders. I am supreme. Done over there. Nope. Okay, that's the mark gun. He fucking. It's not gone yet. Oh my god, I thought he actually came back. Seriously scared me then. So long. Strike them down. Crossbows ready, General. Take the ground. No lingering. At speed. Three company to battle. Finish up. Crossbows ready, General. Understood. Oh, would you please hurry up? Just let him fucking leave. Stop moving him, what the fuck? Get Let him up, leave. Actually rallied. Moving what up. even is this? Take How the fuck did he rally? What kind of trolling is that? Ah, what world would he rally? Yes, sir. What an absolute troll. Just wanted you to leave, man. Let's go. Ready Just wanted you to leave. Oh, why are you in melee? Oh, these guys aren't on skirmish mode anymore? Oh, shit. Ah, boys. I fucked it. I fucked it, boys. Boys, I fucked it. 
These dwarfs do not want to be defeated. That's, that's all I can say. They don't want to be defeated. The Outriders are not in skirmish mode either. Ugh. An absolute nightmare. These dwarfs are the worst. They are the worst. Can we at least kill like the Thunderers or something? That'd be nice if we got rid of them. I'd be happy with that. I've given up on the melee engagement. That's absolutely godless. Already accept that. I love how they just turn around and kick my Corolla's ass. Uh, kick my Outrider's ass in melee. What a nightmare. Faction to have to try and fight. And like these, these guys aren't even dented. We might just have to come back at a later point. You know, if we had cannons things wouldn't be quite as bad, but we need more Outriders. I mean, this is just absurd, to be honest. I don't know what we can do. Oh my god, will you please just run? At least we can wipe out Quarrelers, wipe out a few other things. Why are you getting caught? That does do really good damage. Oh, I just don't have enough wind of magic. Just shatter them, come on. But don't just shatter them, literally wipe them fully out, please. Come on. Well, there you go. Another close defeat. We actually inflicted even casualties on them there, more or less. We did actually lose a few more, but the Sami's wiped out. Man, look how debilitated we are. I did not expect Karak Norn to be this difficult. But I guess it's I guess it's thematic, right? They're surrounded by Skaven and shitloads of goblins, and they held out for all that time. We didn't actually wipe the Thunderers. Oh, you are taking the Michael. Oh, this is a nightmare. But at least we don't have attrition, I guess. But I've got nothing left. They're gonna wipe me out. Oh my goodness. That's bad. Um. Yeah. Ready. Okay. Uh, I think we no longer upgrade Faldorf. 
I think we need a new army. Um. Yeah, sorry, Faldorf. You're not getting upgraded. We are recruiting Mr. Bruno. No, not Mr. Bruno. Elgar Flensburg is coming back into the fray with his tricks to helm. Elgar, we've got a job for you, mate. And we need crossbowmen. Lots of fucking crossbowmen. I could still upgrade that, actually. I could have kept it going. What the fuck, right? I will mark you for that. Guys, why is this so hard? Uh, we could have Fessa Spike, but I don't really want to. Now, I'm going to save the money because this, obviously we're going to have upkeep problems coming. Um, yeah. Wow, Karaknon, man. Like Look at the replenishment. The replenishment is insane. Why do they have so much replenishment? They don't even have a replenishment building. God, this game hates me. Like, they are legit. Making these fuckers cheap. Welcome, my... Can't you go come what? over and help me? Come, then. Only come God. on, Vissenland. You take the piss. You can totally come over and help me. You're not fighting anyone else. You declared war with these guys before I did. Man. They are entrenched. Now they've got another army. God, this really is the worst. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I can't beat you. I can't beat you. But I can, I can whittle them down and hopefully kill a few units with my magic. And then... Leg it. You know, I didn't have to actually attack Karak. No. <laughs> I just wanted the full province. Because I figured that I was going to have to fight Skarsnik. But then I didn't have to fight Skarsnik because bloody Karl Franz killed them anyway. So the whole thing was pointless. I might just call it a day with him, honestly. Until later on. We'll see. You never know, I might be able to, to do something. I've got like one opportunity to do a, a counter attack. Look at this pitiful mortar firing off one shell. That's it. I mean, I have to use my uh, outriders to shoot the, the fanes. Because again, they're going to be ridiculously hard to deal with. actually dodged it. Cunts. Oof. Big oof. They didn't dodge that one. Fully. They dodged most of it to be nice. Okay, well this is about to start. I'm a bit better there. They are taking the fucking piss out of me now. Dodging the searing dooms like that. Oh, I can't retreat out of this. 
Oh, what? Why can I not flee? Oh, well, my army's wiped. Shit. Fucking dwarfs. What a set of guns. He caught me. How? How did he catch me? He's a fane. He's a dwarf. How do you get caught by a dwarf? Doesn't make any sense. Lost my mother. We are Sigma's heirs. Spearmen. We obey. Moving. Attack. For the war. Oh my gosh. How are they still alive? Someone please explain. I don't get it. What is going on with this Finn? How is he catching me? Does he have like Full Seeker or some shit? Wow, the leadership buff is incredible from playing on. Hard. This is just hard. They made very hard. They're still not retreating. Fight Fight for our right it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know anything like it. You know, look, we weakened this this army, so it could it could be worse, right? As if there's this many units attacking it and they're only broken, not shattered. I mean, have you ever seen anything like it? Have you ever seen anything like it? Well, what are you going to do? Dwarfs be dwarfing it up. Living in their holds forever, never dying. It's fine, we'll come back and sort these fuckers out. What a roadblock, though. What a roadblock. They've proven to be. This is over. Uh, we got defeated by Karaknon. Feels bad, man. Your general has been wounded.
feels really bad. So just a little tip to you guys, if you're ever playing the Balthazar Gelt campaign and you're thinking, should I attack Karak Norn? Should I fight them? Is it worth it? Secure the province? Nah. Don't bother. Don't bother attacking them. Uh, probably just better off raising the Skaven settlement and not attacking these fuckers. Because this is just ridiculous. And with the economy boost from playing on very hard campaign difficulty, it's it's just completely out of control. They're just spamming units out. Look, now two armies are replenishing. And vicious gobspit has returned. With his savage orcs. Oof. Now we're going to get a rebellion in the Black Mountains, which is where? Down here. Okay. I think we can come back from this, but honestly, I would like to get peace with these guys. And they're not going to give it to me, because they have more, more strength than us. Okay. Well, you know what? All we can do in that case, then, is... By Sigma's will. Uh, let him attack us, and, and yes, we fight Lord. him off. But we could do with a garrison down here, then. Obviously, we need more crossbows. Can only get five in an army. Um, spearmen with shields. And then... I mean, to be honest with you, we really do need a tier 3 settlement so that we can get guns. That's what, what will make the difference against the dwarfs. Having point. handguns, that will be a complete game changer. Unfortunately, I felt like I needed to cancel it last time. That could have been a big mistake, because indeed, I don't think we do need to cancel it. We have enough funds now to keep getting more troops. There's going to be a rebellion, but I'm not overly concerned about that. We're going to recruit Theodoric Seedow and get a few, just a few ashes. Let's see where that takes us. It is time. Praise Sigma. What does the Emperor bid? This puts us in a very tricky spot now in the campaign. Because I am going to have to deal with these guys. Um, it's obvious what needs to happen. We need to get guns before we try and defeat the dwarves. I should have done that in the first place. The issue that I'm now going to have is that the vampires are kind of free to do whatever they want while I'm busy doing this crap. And that's not good. Fort Sol should be very safe. So I'm not too concerned about Vicious Gob's bit. He's going to attack it. Okay. That should be fine. Should be fine. Um, we don't actually have a lot of infantry. That is concerning. Vicious Gob's bit is a nightmare. But this is nearly a two hour episode as it is. I'm going to leave it there for part two. We will continue this campaign and see if Fort Sol can hold off the hordes of savage greenskins. And I can actually rebuild an army, preferably one with a bit more gunpowder, to try and defeat them bloody dwarfs. It's going to be the next episode. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Top it out.